okay so now we are going to uh, start the first topic which is uh, two dimensional transformations in this chapter we are going to study about all 2 by 2 matrices and the geometry of 2 by 2 matrices first let us uh, see what is uh, let us first write some standard notations that we are going to use so if you are working in the xy plane and if you take a point that point will be represented by p of xy so this is a point in two dimensional space we, we are going to write it as a matrix you are going to write it as a horizontal vector so that is like this which is uh, xy okay which we call as a row matrix okay sometimes uh, we will also write it as a vertical vector also so which is called as a column matrix okay so as and when needed i will use a row matrix or column matrix most probably uh, most of the times i am going to use it as a row matrix so for example this point is uh, suppose 3 comma 2 so while actually doing the problems we will not write it as 3 comma 2 like this but we will write it as a matrix and what is the size of this matrix it has one row and two columns so this is a 1 by 2 matrix okay so this uh, this point xy will be now represented as what it will be represented as a matrix okay this is the first and the foremost thing that we need to know now what are two dimensional objects let us uh, understand what are two dimensional objects so for example if you take uh, suppose you take in two dimension you now we are working with only two dimensions in the next chapter we will be working in three dimension so we are work so you suppose you take a line and this is the line ab so i will say the first simplest object that is with us is a line say line a b now this a has some coordinates say coordinates of a is x1 y1 and coordinates of b is what x2 y2 this means how will i write a in my decided fashion i will write a as x1 y1 and i will write uh, b as what i will write b as x2 y2 so this x1 y1 represents only one point okay x1 y1 only represents a x2 y2 represents only b okay but what does uh, if i write them together if i write it like this if i write it as x1 y1 and x2 y2 now it will determine what i will say that this will be a line so this is an object so this is our object so what is this object this is our object which is a a line joining a and b okay for example i want to i want to uh, i want to represent an object like this suppose i am taking a triangle so the points a a is x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 c is what x3 y3 okay so what will be the object the object will be uh, it contains three corners so i will write x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 right so suppose i have a polygon uh, okay let, let's take a some something like a quadrilateral so this is a x1 y1 b is x2 y2 c is x3 y3 d is x3 x4 y4 so how will this object look like so i will represent it using x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 okay now remember that when i write x1 y1 here and when i write x2 y2 here it doesn't means that this point is connected with this point it is not necessary okay this uh, it may not be like this so it can be like this also 
so where am i going to pay attention i am going to pay attention at only the coordinates of the corners okay inside the polygon can be even like this inside the polygon maybe like this so suppose if i give you a 5 by 5, uh, a matrix with x1 y1 x2 y2 up to x5 y5 okay it doesn't means that it is a pentagon okay not necessarily it will be a pentagon it may be some some object so suppose i take five points it may be some object which only connects what which only connects these five people okay something like this so i am not interested in what are the line segments which line segments are joined to which points so i'm not interested in that what is important for us is that to describe this object i will need how many corners to describe this object i will need five corners those five corners if i give you then i will you take the help of these five corners and then i will start studying the object okay you will understand the the concept a bit later on so far so currently you must know these are the objects now suppose i i take a very different type of object in in the xy plane which does not looks like this so if i take circle suppose i take a circle so circle is also an object in the xy plane so you can take circle ellipse hyperbola parabola anything okay all these are what these are all objects now this is an object with how many points this is an object with infinite points okay so i will not write a matrix like this for this infinite points so since these were a finite points four five points i could write the matrix but this is an object in the xy plane with how many points with infinite points so i will not write anything for this matrix but it is a collection of points in the xy plane so that will be what that will be the an object in xy plane okay now let us go to study of matrices now, now okay let's let's do one example before suppose i take a square okay i'm considering a square with the vertices i'm taking a square with vertices 0 0 1 0 remember we are only going to work in two dimensional in this chapter okay and 1 1 so this is a square with these four vertices okay so if can you imagine what this square is so this is 0 0 this is 1 0 then this is 1 1 and this is what 0 1 so what is the object here how will i represent this object i know that it's it's given to me that it is a square so no harm in joining these four points also okay and how will i write this object i will represent it by 0 0 0 1 1 0 one, 1 can i write it as 1 0 and 0 1 can i write it like this no problem as far as you are writing all the four corners there is no problem so this order is also not important that this only must come first this only must come second there is no odd order only remember that take all the four points take in any order so so if i give you some object something like this okay 0 0 1 0 and uh, 0 1 okay so what does this mean this means this is 0 0 1 0 and 0 1 and what is this object uh, looking like if i join the if i join the points okay i am going to see that it represents actually it is representing a triangle so triangles will be represented by three points square and all these people will be represented by four time four points and so on okay now let us look at what is the importance of matrices so why are we doing this why are we converting an object into a matrix now what does a general 2 by 2 matrix looks like so how does a 2 by 2 matrix looks it looks like a equal to ab cd right now when what what habit we have is that whenever you get a column okay whenever you get a column uh, matrix right? suppose i give you a column matrix you are always used to multiply the column matrix to the right side this is our usual way you do this multiplication ax plus by and then you do cx plus dy okay but in this uh, chapter we are not going in this chapter or in this subject we are not going to multiply it on the right side we are always going to multiply it on the left side so can i do this multiplication 
if i write x and y here can i do this no this is not possible because this is 2 by 1 matrix and this is 2 by 2 matrix so these dimensions are not matching so i cannot multiply a vector on the left hand side but if i convert this column matrix into a row matrix that is why we uh, studied row matrix in the image if i convert this it now it will become a 1 by 2 matrix and now this 2 and 2 match so i can actually multiply them and now what you will get is not ax plus by cx plus dy now the resultant matrix will be again of what dimension the resultant matrix will be of one cross two dimension means it will have one row and two columns and what is what are the entries of mm, there so here you will get ax plus cy now it is not ax plus by okay you will get ax plus cy and in the second column what will you get you will get bx plus dy okay this is the way we are going to multiply vectors to matrices from the left hand side and so if i take a column if if so which type of matrix is this this is a row matrix correct and if i multiply it by a 2 by 2 matrix i will again get what i will again get a i will again get a row matrix clear so if i multiply it by a column matrix I, the output will also come up to be a column matrix but in this subject we are going to always multiply by row matrices so remember this okay now let us take one simple matrix and see what is the geometrical meaning of a matrix you must have studied um, matrices since your 10th uh, 12 standards but you don't know what is the meaning of a matrix what is actually geometrically a uh, matrix means so let us take one very simple example okay so let me take a question let me write consider a matrix um, let me take a, okay let me take here suppose i take 2 0 0 and 1 okay this is a matrix 2 by 2 matrix right now what i will do is i will apply i will take a point p and p we are going to represent by what p we are going to represent by x y and i'm going to multiply this p to the right hand side or to the left hand side we know we are going to have a use of yeah, get habitual to the left hand side so p a means what is p it is x y applied to the matrix 2 0 0 1 what am i going to get i'm going to get 2 into x plus 0 into y so this will give me 2x and 0 into x plus y into it 2x and y so this is so what is the input so the input was x y and what is the output the output is what 2x and y okay so suppose the input is uh, 0 0 what will be the output after i multiply the matrix a what will be the x is 0 y is 0 so the output will also become 0 0 because 2 into 0 0 if the input is 1 0 then what will be the output the output will be uh, 2 2 comma 0 because x is 1 and if I take 1 comma 0 comma 1 so this means x is 0 and y is 1 so when I put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 here what what is the answer I will get I will get 0 comma 0 1 right so and if I put 1 comma 1 if x and y is 1 and 1 what will happen to 2x what will happen to this particular person this person will become 2 comma one okay so this was your input these four points were your input and these four points are becoming your output i will take all these four points of the left hand side and bring them together and i will call it as my object now you understand this is an object what is the object zero zero one zero zero one and one one this is the object when I multiply this object by the matrix A, what am I going to get? What was the output? This is the output. What was that? That was 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1 and 
to 1. Zero, 1 and 2 1. Okay. So now let us see the picture. What is the picture telling me? The picture is telling me that original object was 0 0 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 so this was the original object cell it's a square okay this is a square when i multiply that object by matrix a i got another object so this is new object what is that new object let us draw this new object so the first point is zero zero one zero became two zero one one became what two one and zero one this person third remained zero one so when i join that it becomes a rectangle okay so this means that what is what has this matrix done what has this matrix done this mat what was this matrix can i see what is that matrix carefully if you see that matrix carefully it was two zero zero one and what has that matrix done that matrix has converted a square which is called as a unit square correct it has converted a unit square into actually it has you know you see it has stretched this square by how much by two units right it has twice it, it it is now doubled two times and it has stretched along which axis it has stretched along the axis you are so you are actually pulling this cube you see you are going to uh, catch this so let me draw a small hand here okay uh, you are going to catch this and you are going to pull in this direction you are going to pull in this direction by how much until this length becomes two times okay and but why you are not going to pull you are not going to pull upside you are only going to pull to the right hand side why you are going to do that because i observe that this two is in this particular entry and here it is one so this particular entry actually corresponds to the x stretching and this particular entry corresponds to the y stretching right so see if i if i change the matrix if suppose I make this is one zero zero two, so it's a diagonal matrix. So can you now make a guess that what will happen to this unit square? Now then you will observe that. So this stretching along x axis will be no stretching, it will be kept as it is. So x will remain x as it is, but y will become what? Y will become two times. So this means that this object will be stretched vertically by two units. So what we conclude is that if I'm given a matrix A, which is of the form what? Which is of the form A001. What is this matrix going to do? This matrix is given an object. It is going to stretch that object along x axis by how much units by how much units by a units okay so this is this matrix is called scaling matrix so it's called scaling by how much units by a units it's along which axis along the in of x coordinate right similarly if i write a matrix a which is given by what which is given by zero which is given by one 
zero zero a this is the scaling in y coordinate by how much units by a units okay if i write a matrix as a and b are zero and zero means what is going to happen x direction i'm going to pull by a units y direction i'm going to pull by b units not necessarily you want to spread everything uh, in the same direction not necessarily you want to zoom it off from all the directions sometimes you may have to stretch it vertically sometimes you may have to stretch it horizontally so here this is a, what this is scaling in x direction in of x coordinate by a units and in and y coordinate by by b units right what is the standard thing we always like to do given a photograph okay if this is a flower suppose i what will i do i will press the zoom button on my mobile i will take my fingers far away from each other and and this is the zoomed flower so have i have i scaled it along x axis or have i scaled it along y axis or have i scaled it along both the axis i have scaled it along both the axis so this means that and and both the scaling factors are equal i don't want it to be distorted see this is if this is the original flower suppose this is the flower and if i if i zoom it like this okay okay if this if, if this particular thing happens means what i have zoomed i have scaled it along x x axis a little bit more and scaling along y coordinate is little bit less okay in this case a is a will be more and b will be small but i i really don't like to use such type of scaling we use what is a, what we want is it should exactly become big replica of the small person right so we wanted something to be look like this so in both the direction we are scaling in the same thing so that is called as uniform scaling uniform scaling means both the scaling factors will be equal and what must be the matrix of uniform scaling obviously you're going to use the same factor to both the coordinates so obviously when i'm looking at 0 1 0 1 and if i write the matrix 3 0 0 3 if i operate this matrix on this object what is going to happen can you guess what is going to happen 0 0 will become 0 0 one zero will become three zero i hope you understood how one zero will become three zero because if i multiply one zero by this matrix you will get what three zero this one one point will become what three three and this zero one point will become what it will become zero three so you see the object has uniformly been scaled how many times three three times so this is called as uniform scaling okay